Welcome guys to another episode of Ama Ask Me Anything. We're here in Bali again in my bedroom here in the villa and I'm going to just get straight into it with this first call. Um, let's see where we're calling. Okay, we're calling hmm, the US here. We're calling Texas. So hmm, this one, uh, someone called Sid. Let us just put this number in and then we'll go from there. So, okay, otherwise you guys will be calling. There we go. Hello. Hello, is this Sid? Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is this how I it's going to go up. down? <laughs> you what? Nice. So like, I, I tried the whole manifestation thing. Oh, nice. So it's working. So it looks like you've got no question now. You understand manifestation. Well, I mean, it's not. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So it, the, the, the name's Sid, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, first of all, welcome to Ask Me Anything. And um, I guess, yeah, over the next few minutes, you can ask whatever you want to ask. And then I'm just going to... Um, answer away so you can the whole thing's yours so you can fire away awesome um, okay well I have a hard time detaching <laughs> okay I, mean, I know I've watched like some of your videos and I and know what you say but I have a really hard time doing that so how okay. do I go about that Nice. I think, um, <laughs> I don't think you're the only person who finds it hard to detach. I think it's the same with every human out there. So I think, first of all, um, are we talking about a relationship or are we talking about... Uh... Yeah. Okay. And is it a relationship yeah. that, uh, like, what is the reason for detaching? Is it because somebody has left or is it because the, yeah. the, it, there's a lot of chaos and it, it's not right? There's it's a not... lot of chaos in the relationship. It's okay. like up and down nice. and it's not solid. Okay, so my a simple question, I think, for you to understand, um, to ha go on this journey of detachment is to ask, do you love this person? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that helps, of course. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So you love this person. Now, um, the chaos you go through, um, is it, does it happen daily? Does it happen every time you interact? Does it happen quite, I mean, is it, does it cause a lot of emotions and between both? And it's mainly, it's not when we interact, it's fine. It's yep. just that we don't interact all the time because of outside circumstances. Okay. We don't get to interact. Okay. And I feel chaos because of that. Okay, so does the other person feel chaos because of that? <laughs> Probably not. Well, I mean, his chaos is because of work. Okay, yeah. his chaos is because of work. Your chaos is because of not okay. being able to interact so much. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> okay, and so therefore you want to detach. Yeah. Oh. Kind of, I, I know so I I I, I, I I need to get a little bit more understanding of this. So you love this person. This person loves you. Yeah. I don't know. He likes me. <laughs> okay, but has other priorities. Yeah. And those priorities don't are not like not everything, and the way he deals with relationship does not quite align with what you want or what you desire right now. Is that correct? Exactly. Okay, so this is this is the thing. Um, a lot of people in a relationship um, with this physical um, being, this um, how we are within relationships is we always have this attachment to things because we have this. Um, we want things to be our way, so that's why a lot of people in relationships they um, they also want. If if it's not to detach, the other way is they want it to be their way. So it's kind of like, can you change for me, or can you do this for me, or can you do that for me? So if we understand and if we are sincere, this is why I asked the first question: Do you love this person? Because if we are sincere with love. 
then surely the deepest love is about wanting the best for the person you love. <laughs> this this awareness is the is the is the fundamental is the basic is the is the you, we need to first clarify this part. Once we understand this part, detachment is not an issue. You know, because obviously it's like going through relationships. I understand you know how it is. I understand obviously there's an attachment to thing the the the, the situations and in actual in actual um, fact that attachment is actually, we, we need to clarify whether the attachment is ownership, is ego, right? The need for ownership and mm -hmm. ego, or is it actually love? Because love isn't that way. Love, right. if one was to sincerely love with, with, the, with the bottom of their heart, they love this person. Surely this person does not want to see this person in pain, but this person, you actually want to see the other person shine. You want to see the other person in their best so if in their best is for example work or career right now we wish them that they could just stay exactly how they are because they are perfect exactly how they are does this does this make sense it does it's just tough <laughs> and and and, it, and it's and it's hard because now when we come to a realization and we say hey wait there a second actually maybe maybe, maybe this has a little bit of sense in it that it's hard because now we need to figure out something else now is it because we need to figure out hey well how, how how do i like get rid of that need to like like this this thing is my thing you know i i, I like yeah. it, it, it's mine you know why why should this you know why why should this thing no longer exist in my life anymore you know and i think that's that right. fear is the other thing but then we need to come to acceptance we need to come to understanding that the power of letting go, because the moment we finally allow ourselves to let go, we not only set the person we so-called say we love, right? We set that person free. We not only set that other person free when we let go, we set ourselves free from, from ego, from this need of belonging, this need, right? So we set ourselves free. But aside from that, we're also doing another thing. We're clearing the space. Once we clear the space, we allow the right things, the things we do desire, the, the exact specification, as if you like, right? The thing right. Then, then can enter into your life because your cup is not full at that point. Right. I understand. <laughs> you understand? You. You, you understand? Yeah. But that nervous laugh means it's still hard. It's a, uh, you know, you know, you, you know, you know, Sid, it's, it's, it's a, it's a very big thing. Like it's, it's not easy for anyone. However, yeah. when you get into uh, practicing spirituality, in spirituality, there's a big practice of detachment. And I used to be mm -hmm. a very attached person, you know, <laughs> to attach to different things, yeah. whether it be businesses or, you know, it, 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 it's, it's my baby. I put so much effort into this. I put so much time into this, you know, or a relationship. I put so much effort in. Why should it yep. be wasted, you know? But, <laughs> yeah. but, but it's a practice because I, I, obviously there's pain. Uh, things happen. Uh -huh. Emotions happen. But when we come to this understanding, which we can only do, we, oh, we can only come to the understanding by doing it, you know. But once we do, uh -huh. and we do it again and again, not just in relationships. I'm not saying just let everybody go. But what I'm saying is, in every area of our life, the things we feel most attached uh -huh. to, we practice detachment. We will start seeing that life becomes so, so, so much easier, and everything starts flowing our way exactly the way we want it to be. Right. Yeah. So, I will work on that. <laughs> so it's hard, but you just got to get practicing. Okay. Now, Thank you so much. now, off topic, are you coming to see us in a few weeks? Uh, I'm, I'm in Dallas and I have a load of work, but where... We I, so okay. Here's the deal here, right? So I'm flying okay. twenty plus hours over to come and see you, and you can't come one two hours <laughs> over to <laughs> over. We're gonna be in LA. We're gonna be in LA. We're gonna be in Florida. Uh, we're gonna be in New York. We're gonna be in three locations. 
Now you I'll, really need to have a think about this now. <laughs> I will. I will see where it's gonna be and you, what my work schedule aligns. Okay. Okay. Cool. So if you, if you can do do join us, it'll be nice to actually meet everybody in person. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this after this call. I'll just drop you a message with a link, then you can see where all the locations are and the dates as well. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for the call. Nice speaking to you. Namaste. Nice speaking to you too. Namaste. Bye. Bye. Nice. We're done. American accent. I just love American accent. I don't know what it is. Whenever I hear that accent, it just makes me smile. You Americans, you won't get it because you hear it every day. But for us British people, it's a big deal, you know. Um, anyway, guys, I'm finishing there. I'm done uh, signing out. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do hit the thumbs up. If you learned anything or got any inspiration from whatsoever, hit that thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know your views, your comments, what you learned, right? So I always say when you learn something and then you can you can comment, uh, type that, that act of typing it, it reaffirms the learning on a deeper level. So type your learnings below, you know? We learn it, we live it, we give it, we share it with other people too, our own experience of it. And finally, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it, because this year I'm dedicated to making a ton of videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, signing out. Ciao.